Hey guys, it's me, Pie in the Sky, or Jonathan's really my name, but it's my code, Pie in the Sky, here to talk about this company here, Ship. My first two orders I did today. Gonna really briefly talk, not too long. I'm on my way home now to take actually a break. Did two orders, um, and wanted to share my experience about working with this company. Number one, the one thing I noticed about Ship is that it's very, very flexible. Okay, the app is very flexible, and I had a problem with actually an order. I forgot to, act I accidentally walked out of the store with an item in my cart, not realizing it, and then went back into the store and had to repurchase it for a customer. I marked that I already purchased it on the app, but on my store receipt, of course, that wasn't the case. It wasn't purchased, so I was really like panicking and worried. I don't know, like, I don't know what's gonna happen, you know? But um, the store clerks, at the store, um, we try running the card. Of course, it doesn't work because Ship has to pre-add that money. So for every order you accept, that it's going to have approximate that amount on the card. It's digitally done, which is really cool. So if you ever, if a customer does add something, okay, um, they ha you have to make sure you put it on the app first before checking out. Uh, it worked for me oddly the first time. I asked, I he, a customer wanted a one hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, but they, uh, but I, but I didn't add it on the app. I just checked out with it, and it let me scan it, which I guess it shouldn't have because technically I didn't add it on the list until after the fact. Um, I don't know, <laughs> but it worked, and I went back and I manually added it into the app itself. So make sure you do that before checking out because you might not luck out like I did for some strange reason, whatever. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys and let you know how my first two orders went. I went to Target the first time. It was an almost $200 order. It was 191 and some change order. It was very expensive. This order I did was only about $60. The first time I got tipped 20 bucks, which is really cool. I mean, it was, they were really cool people. Really, really nice. I think they were actually shipped shoppers already. I could have been wrong, but it just seemed like it. Um, just by... You know, the, the person I was so nice, she said, welcome to the team, and was so enthusiastic about it. And um, I'm pretty sure, though, she was a ship shopper. Pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she was. Um, so, I want to get my likes and dislikes about ship really fast. First of all, it's it's super easy to do, guys. It really is. you got to get used to the app. The app's a little bit cumbersome. It's hard to or speed bump. <laughs> hard to get used to. So, just... Make sure you familiarize yourself with the app before, and it's hard if you don't have any orders. You can't really do anything. You can, but you can pre-shop for an order. So when you select an order, you can actually start shopping. You're not really shopping, but you can see what they're going to buy and kind of itemize it that way. And it's a really nice feature. You can do that. Um, I'm not sure if they deliberately do that or if that's just part of the gig, but I don't know. It's nice, whatever, however it is. So I like that a lot. The second thing I love about it is it's quick. It's fluent. You know. Like I said, it's just easy to use. Um, and you I don't seem to ever get lost, you know, with it. So I don't know. Because that could just be a coincidence. I'm not sure. I'm looking for a parking space to park here. Um, so I guess it comes down to the question, what don't I like I said about the app? Well, it's hard to check out. First of all, I think they should do a GPS enable. When you arrive at the customer's address, let me give an example. While I turn around here, um, it doesn't automatically assume you're there. It says on Google Maps. It uses Google Maps, but... The order is not automatically marked as delivered. That's good and bad, but I think it's kind of bad because it takes a lot longer for me to... Because I forget. I forgot today to mark the order delivered the first time, so it probably was sitting in limbo for how long. But um, I don't know. It wasn't that bad. Uh, still, you know, not really a big deal. But I just wished it would automatically mark it, you know, based on your GPS location. In theory, I guess they could, but they don't. So whatever. So that's something to look out for. Also, another thing to look out for uh, when you're delivering... It's just make sure you don't do what I did, leave stuff under your cart, and don't do that. Um, well, I should say, I guess I, what I don't like about it, I guess the app is that you can't go back in the app and add it after an order's done, and you hit process order. That's it. You have to go and talk to a team member. But if you open up the live chat in the menu, it's real easy. It took me about 15 minutes or so to get things squared away because they're pretty busy. I tried calling. I don't recommend doing that. I waited a long time. So if you are going, if you have a problem with your order, just open up live chat. It's way quicker way quicker to do that than it is to call. I was on the phone for like 15 minutes and I thought, heck with this. Yeah, well, I was on the phone while I was, you know, waiting for a la waiting for the live chat and it finally kicked through. It was quick, quick, easy. Like, bam, 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 easy. 
Um, another great thing about Chipped is you get exercise. I mean, I'm walking all over that store like crazy. Two stores, you know. I did Publix uh, the second time. The first time I did, tar- I did Target. Um, it's not really no favor between the two. I don't really care. I like Target better because you have more chances for higher money, I would think. Uh, the order like, it was just extremely expensive. So, um, But the one thing I did notice, you got to keep on top of it. I mean, you, you set your schedule. I don't actually set a schedule. I pick up a lot of Metro orders just because... I don't really don't have time for a schedule all the time with my job, so I just go. I went to Metro Orders and picked up, you know, the blit, the uh, the promo bonuses, which definitely picked those up. The promo bonuses are worth an extra couple bucks. I didn't get tipped on my second order, which wasn't a big deal, which was kind of a surprise, but I don't know. Um, but the promo order helped for the tip. I I got one more promo order near the beach today. I'm down in Tampa, but if you didn't know that, uh, St. Pete, Clearwater area, that's where I really deliver to. But uh, I just want to check in with you guys and let you know I love shipped. I'm going to show you the shirt now. You know, there's people I know, I've watched other videos about before I started doing shipped. They're like, oh, shipped is terrible. It's XYZ. I hate it. I would never do it. And all honesty, guys, I think it's a great app. I, It's quick money. You know, it's just like it's Uber for groceries is what it is. It's literally all it is, you know. But um, in theory, it's a great idea. I would highly recommend giving it a try at least you know it's a it's great it's free money guys you really can't beat it um i'll have more videos to come i'll do an update for my day one this is just sort of my little introduction with shipped in my first two orders and shipped i love you guys keep up the great work stay tuned guys for another video thank you so much for the job shipped and thank you so much guys for watching this video leave a comment if you have any questions comments peace or the saucer out. See you guys.